The 55 volt DC circuit is used for the fuel injectors, the fuel pump on inline models, and the oil injector pump. The EMM controls these components by switching the ground side of the circuit on and off. The fuel circulation pump is actually designed for a 12 volt system. The EMM on inline models uses pulse width modulation to provide the correct average voltage for the pump. To understand how this works, imagine we're looking at an oscilloscope. Pulse width modulation is achieved by rapidly turning a DC circuit on and off at a fixed frequency and controlling the on and off times in relation to each other. Frequency is the time for one complete on-off cycle. This system runs at a frequency of 10 kHz, meaning it cycles on and off 10,000 times per second. Duty cycle is the percentage of time the circuit is on during a cycle. A 25% duty cycle would mean the switch is on for one quarter of the cycle. In this example, pulse width modulation is used to control the 55 volt system, so it outputs an average near 14 volts. If we have a 55 volt input and modulate it at a 25% duty cycle, the average value will be 25% of 55 volts, or 13.75 volts. If the input voltage is lower, the duty cycle can be increased to keep the average or working voltage in the correct range. This allows the EMM to maintain consistent voltage to the components. If you hook a voltmeter across the two leads to the fuel circulation pump on a running engine, you would see around 15 to 17 volts DC, depending on the type of meter. If the meter is attached to the white with red lead and ground on a running engine, you should see 30 to 55 volts depending on engine RPM. Remember, it is the ground side of the circuit that switches on and off. On V4 and V6 models, the EMM provides the fuel pump with 12 volts. It is not provided through pulse width modulation. The EMM switches the positive 12 volt side, not the ground. Although inline models don't need a battery to run the ignition or fuel injection systems, they still supply ample power to charge a boat's battery and power accessories. The EMM contains a step-down converter, sometimes called a buck converter, that works similar to the power supply in a personal computer. It converts the 55 volts to 14.7 volts. On 40 horsepower models and above, a software map controls how much current can be supplied at any given RPM. This ensures that there's always enough current to run the fuel and ignition systems. Charging the battery is second priority. Current is regulated by sensing the battery voltage, but it supplies charging and accessory current only up to the limit allowed by the map. The EMM does not include a built-in battery isolator. However, a voltage-sensitive relay module is available to charge a second battery. Some models, 30 horsepower and below, can be equipped with an optional battery charging module. Remote electric models have this module installed as standard equipment. An auxiliary battery charge kit is available for V models. It allows you to isolate the boat's accessories from the cranking battery, so there's always enough power to start the outboard. The kit's wiring includes a 50 amp fuse to protect the auxiliary charge circuit.